Hey everybody, welcome back. We are still on price elasticity of demand. Now we're looking at perfect elastic elasticity and perfectly inelastic, okay? Easy to say for some. Anyhow, this video should be short, so I don't know what it's gonna say because I don't know how long it is yet because I haven't shot it, but anyhow, it should be less than four minutes. We'll see how that works out. Here it goes, perfectly elastic, perfectly inelastic. I'm about to draw a demand curve on both of these graphs. One being this, one being that. Here's what I like to say, okay? I like to say pause, okay? Just pause the video and think for yourself. Go, what, what would this look like? What would perfectly elastic look like? Infinitely elastic to price changes. And then perfectly inelastic. What would that look like? What would that demand curve look like? So it's best to pause the video. Give yourself a second. Come up with it, then turn it back on. So hopefully you did that. So what are these going to look like? perfectly elastic, all right? That is going to be a, hor a horizontal line, all right? I'm trying to draw prettier lines right here, so I'm using the old ruler. That demand curve is perfectly elastic. Why? Because what we're saying is if we raise the price at all, if we raise the price at all, the QD is gonna drop to zero, okay? That's the key. Any increase in price, QD goes to zero. Where are we gonna see this particular de demand curve the most? When we get to theory of the firm, perfectly competitive businesses. Ones where there's no product differentiation, meaning there's, in there's infinitely close substitutes. In fact, there's perfect substitutes for the good that we sell. So perfect competition. We're gonna see this for single firms competing in that type of industry because they're selling a product where there are perfect substitutes, so the elasticity is infinite, okay? They try to raise their price at all, everybody's gonna go buy that other perfect substitute good. Now, the other one, perfectly inelastic. Here it comes, perfectly inelastic. That is going to be a vertical demand curve, all right? Vertical demand curve. Here's the first thing that I like to say about perfect inelasticity. As far as a perfectly vertical demand curve for up through infinity, that does not exist, okay? Why? I don't care if it's a life-saving drug, you can't be perfectly inelastic because the demand curve is based on ability and willingness to pay. Ability and willingness to pay. Your willingness might be infinite, but your ability, I'm telling you, is not. Okay, so at some point, demand can't go up through the sky for you know infinitely high vertically, all right? At some point, it's going to have to head over to there because you don't have the ability to pay anymore. However, over a specific range of prices, okay? Over a specific range of prices, we can get a perfectly inelastic demand curve, meaning there's no responsiveness to price. Take a look at this. The price is going up, all right? We're going up, price going up, going up, price is going up. Well, what happened to quantity demanded? Nothing, we stayed right there at that quantity demanded. It didn't matter. Over a specific range of prices, we stayed in the same place. Why? I don't know. It's, it's a need. Uh, there's not available close substitutes, okay? It's an incredibly small percent of your budget, anyhow, even with the price change. Something like that, okay? We're perfectly inelastic, perhaps over a range of prices. There they are, perfectly elastic, perfectly inelastic. I don't know what the time is, but I hope I got there. See you in the next video.